what's funny is um, when I was a Christian, I was always of the opinion that being a Christian was to be Christ-like and to love one another and and accept one another as perfect creations of God because every one of us is created by God and everyone is in wherever they are in their life right now it's all according to God's plan and where we are supposed to be according to his plan that's what I believed as a Christian I believed that whatever faults we have or whatever characteristics we have or whatever qualities we have or whatever lessons we've learned or whatever lessons we need to learn or whatever um, that was all according to God's plan and he made us knowing you know where we fit in his plan and it, his plan is perfect and divine and whatever and who are we to question God that's how I felt when I was a Christian and try to find the good in people, try to see the good in people, try to love people and not judge people, try to um, accept people for who they are. And who they are, who a person is, is that person, that person's job to figure out. It's not their parents' job to figure it out. It's not the society's job to figure it out. It's not a religion's job to figure it out. It's that person's job to figure out who they are. And you know, in this world, it's really hard anyway to be able to love yourself sometimes. Maybe some people have it lucky, but not all of us do. Some of us have to really struggle to love ourselves. And it really doesn't help when your society or your or religion is, is calling you uh, a freak of nature or an abomination or whatever. Um, living in sin just for being yourself, just for being who you are and trying to figure yourself out. Um, I feel like so much anger right now. This, this, first of all, I have to put this in here. This guy writes me. He, he compares, he compares, um, uh, gay people or homosexuality with throwing fish done at, people throwing done at each other or animals throwing done at each other. It's like, I'm a bigot, yet all you have done is degrade millions of people. That's because I called, I told him that humans were all, um, humans are great apes, and that's a fact. That's not just my theory. That is a fact, and anybody can look that up. Humans are apes. We're one of the great apes on this planet. But apparently my saying that was degrading millions of people. Your hypocrisy is amazing. I'm sure that you're I'm sure that you pride yourself in how educated you make yourself sound while throwing the word bigot out like candy. And I'm sorry to say, but you are the sad person here, and apparently not too smart. It's been proven that we are not apes. Even by evolutionists. So yes, I will drop it. Bye. It has not been proven that we're not apes. It is we are apes, and that is a fact. And the the, the statement is beyond absurd. So uh yeah, this is so strange that I keep seeing this. It's just like hate. These people that are Christians that are supposedly following Jesus who taught that we should love each other and and judge not lest ye be judged or whatever that verse, however that verse goes. Um, and they and they teach that Christianity is a, is is all about peace and love, and they t they talk about how God is loving, and and God is the creator of everybody, including <clears throat> including gays. And I'm sorry, but I know enough gay people to to believe very strongly that people are born what they are. People are born what. They are. You cannot just decide one day to love somebody. You cannot just decide one day to stop loving somebody. You know, I have a real hard time with love. I, I love somebody and I love them. I can't just turn it off. Believe me, I wish I could. I have had nothing but um, hurt from loving the wrong people. And I can't stop loving them. I can't stop caring because it's 
just who I am. It's how I'm wired. It's how what I have in my heart. I love people. I love the guy I took care of. I love the fucking bartender who I thought was my friend. You know, there's different kinds of love, too. And people all want to stick twisted or sick definitions to it. When, when love can just be friendship. Love can just be caring. But, you know, you don't have any control over who you love. You can't make yourself love somebody if you don't love them. And you can't unlove somebody once you love them just because your parents tell you, you that you're wrong to love somebody or your religion tells you that you're an abomination because you love somebody. You love somebody. That's part of who you are. That is, that is just, it happens. Love happens. You don't have control over it. And anybody who thinks you do is out of their frickin' mind. With that said, I found a video today. Honestly, I think everybody, everybody, especially the people who think that, you know, they, they throw the word gays around, like um, the Nazis used to throw the word Jews around. Like they're not even people, like they're like somehow less than people or subhuman or whatever. <sighs> I think people who hate a whole group of people because this whole group of people isn't wired the way they are and so they just want to you know they call themselves Christians and they hate you know I think everybody should watch this this young man's video it had me in tears it's called it could happen to you Sorry, I'm trying to get my camera. Okay. what kills me is these these parents did this to their son and it's because this, these parents follow a religion that teaches them these these things so they can't even accept their own son and love him no matter what religion does nothing but poison I'm sorry it does nothing but fuck up the world and cause division and hatred and bigotry
Thank you for all of your love. I would be so lost without you by my side. I have a feeling 2011 will change our lives forever. Love forever and always. Forever and always. Streaming down 
need to fight for what's right. I need to fight for what I believe in and I can't just stand back anymore. Maybe that's why this all happened. Maybe this is part of the reason. Is to open my eyes and to inspire me to want to make a change and want to fight for equality. I just don't know if people will listen. But I guess no one's going to listen if I don't talk. So I'm talking. Excuse me while I stop this thing. I just wanted to add, these are people. These are human beings. They're not gays. They're not animals. Well, they are animals. We are all animals. We all have an equal right to have a chance to be who we are. And honestly, who we are is none of anybody's goddamn business. It's it's our job, it's our business to figure out who we are and learn how to love ourselves. And, and it's hard enough to do that without people... You know, what difference does it make? What happened to Christian love? It's always the Christians that I see first in line to hate. Well, it's not just Christians. It's any, any of these patriarchal religions first in line to hate. It's like, um, if there wasn't these religions in the world, how much less hate would we see in this world? How, how does this go? How does this follow Jesus' teachings, his, mes his message? What people do in their personal lives is nobody's business. It doesn't affect you. If you don't like gay lifestyle, then don't have a gay lifestyle. But you know what, if your child is born gay, and you know, again, I have known enough gay people to believe that we are born who we are, and who we love is all a part of who we are, and it's not really something any of us can just control or turn off. If, you, if you're a good parent, you're going to love your child no matter what, and no matter who that child is, you're going to love them for who they are. And these people, these Tom's parents, shame on you. Shame on anybody who has this attitude that causes so much harm for other people that they don't even know. And these people have never done anything wrong to deserve this. They've never done anything to you. So I'm sorry, but the hatred and the disgusting comments about throwing... This one lady writes me about, well, she saw animals, uh, chimpanzees throwing shit at each other. I'm sorry, but that's... Why are you even comparing throwing shit to, to human love? There's so, like, there's hardly enough love in the world as it is. And some people never even get to know what love feels like. And they would love to just know what that feels like. And how dare you to come along and judge somebody's love when they finally have something that completes them and makes them happy? How dare you come along and de malign that and call it an abomination? How can love ever be an abomination? This video had me reduced to tears this afternoon at my job when I first watched it. Um, I feel so badly for Shane and Tom. I feel so badly for people, for children who have parents who reject them just for being honest about who they are and how they feel. 
Shame on you. Shame on anybody who feels this way. The intolerance is sickening. And again, I, it's one of the things that makes me agree that religion poisons everything.